Okay, so we came to Trader Joe's for literally one thing. It was banana, oh, two things, bananas and these potatoes to go with our steak tonight. And I saw quite literally everything pumpkin in the store is being, you know, sold. So basically, Mitch and I decided that we were gonna buy everything pumpkin and we're gonna make another YouTube video, but strictly pumpkin and fall flavored things at Trader Joe's. Dudes put me on these cookies like two years ago, so we have to get these. Nuts. Spice cider. What do we got? Okay, when I tell you, we just bought the entire store for no reason. I literally leave for New York tomorrow for a week, so. <laughs> but everything was gonna sell out, so we had to get it and we're gonna freeze it. Thank you. We did some very bad things in there. She literally put our name on the list to pick up a pumpkin sheet cake. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited. They're going to give me a call tomorrow. You guys, I am so sorry for the extremely poor quality that you probably experienced in Trader Joe's and honestly right now because I'm on my phone. I don't even know where to look, but this was not planned. Mitch and I were literally just going to Trader Joe's for two or three items and we left with one, two, three, four bags of stuff. I think our total was a hundred and thirty-five dollars. We'll we'll go. We'll, uh, am I okay? We'll go over all of that once I'm back from New York. I literally leave. So today's Sunday. I leave Tuesday morning at seven a.m. is my flight. So we just don't have time to film. So gonna freeze what we need to freeze. Come back from New York and do a whole pumpkin taste test from Trader Joe's. You can come in. Mitch is letting check out. Um, but but yeah, I promise. Once we're actually filming everything, the quality will be much much better. Hi, my crew. Everyone's been asking about you. I told them you're an outdoor baby now. Come here. Come say hi. Hi, cutie. They all miss you, but you like it outside. Hello, you guys. The long-awaited Trader Joe's seasonal pumpkin spice haul and taste test is finally here. Mitch is... <laughs> bringing in the goods. Okay, so mo like 99% of this is pumpkin spice. Some of it is like, these are ghosts and bats crispy potato snacks. They're not like pumpkin spice flavored, but they are like seasonal and fun. Yeah, he's bringing in more bags. There's a lot. There's a, there's a lot. There's a bunch of stuff that we had to freeze because I left for a work trip, but I wanted to get it beforehand. So it's currently thawing. Also, please excuse this we both got home so late last night from our most recent trip for work super exciting and mitch just ran 13 miles for his marathon training so we're kind of struggling but like we're also very excited to film this so before i just try your ear off we should just get into it let's do it yeah okay Cookies. okay so right now mitch is sorting things that need to be made versus snacks so much and then we have all of our items over here thawing because I had to get them. I don't know why, but we left town so they weren't gonna last, but here they are thawing. And then we have ice cream. So very fun. <laughs> Yet again. <laughs> and we're back. I just wanna share with you my receipts. Okay, so two Bear Bell pumpkin spice protein bars and the, the sheet cake, pumpkin sheet cake was $10. And then the really big haul we did was $135 minus like one or two items I think we bought for like ourselves. Like I think we bought fruit. Anyways, and then the third one, I don't know why we went so many times. There was just more and more. There was a shit ton of pumpkin slash seasonal things. This one was $41. So. Total of like 100 and... Yes. Yeah, it was probably like one. <laughs> our Which, foods are thawing. We have a shit ton of snacks to get through. Okay, I already read. Oh, we need to make hot cocoa. We do, we do. That's what they didn't have there. They didn't. It was like a seasonal. Hot cocoa. Wait, use my cute oh, no, cup. Like <laughs> Which one? Micro and the bat. So first up we have some spiced 
cider, juice blend from ripe whole apples, apple juice concentrate, and other added ingredients. That sounds a little suspicious. Pasteurized, shake well before serving. Thank you for the full description. Ooh, that smells good. You know what? This would be so good if we heated it up. Ah, uh, that would be really okay, good. Okay, maybe it has like a little nightcap or something. Well, with some cinnamon in it. Yeah. Can you get me a shot, please? This can be like our palate cleanser between each bite. Our palate confuser. Okay. Okay, let's try this first. I'm getting excited. Ready? Mmm. That's good. Tastes like apple pie. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Because it's spiced. That's, that's, that's why it, it tastes like pie. They hit the nail on the head with that one. Okay, first snack, maple spiced nut mix. Maple, rosemary, almonds, pecans with red and black pepper, sweet and dried cranberries, and pepitas. Mmm! Wow, I fuck with this. Heavy. Okay, mm. so, Mitch and I made the mistake last time of eating like 90% of each snack we had, and we both did get upset tummies shortly after. So today's goal is to actually just taste test each item, not taste test and then eat the entire bag and then feel sick. Okay, next we have maple and sea salt kettle pop. I have a feeling there's gonna be an item today where I love a kettle corn. Mm. That's very good. Whoa. There's like a tiny bit of maple. Tiny. It's giving more kettle corn than anything. But like, I love it. Okay. What should we do next? What is a pumpkin butter? We suggest using pumpkin butter as a pastry filling glaze ice cream topping. <gasps> we can eat it with the ice cream. Let's put it on the ice cream. Okay, what about maple butter? Spreadable creamy maple syrup. So it's basically maple syrup, but in like a condensed. I think we should eat it by the spoonful, yeah? Yeah, just to oh. taste it. While he spins the maple butter, we're gonna be trying the Ghosts and Bats crispy potato snacks. Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh my, look how cute it is. That's really cute. Oh, pop. Do one without, and then just go ham on that. Mm. They're really airy. Look how cute the ghost is. Well, let me try one. Look how cute he is. They taste like the veggie baked. Veggie straws. Yeah. It's giving spooky veggie straws. Hand it over. Hold on. Did you just have to block out all the other sensory inputs? <laughs> it's such a concentrated maple flavor, my brain was like having a really hard time processing what it was tasting. Does that make sense? Like this would be better on pancakes. Let's circle back and put it on well, toast. So should we do like the buy it again or not rating? Oh, we haven't been doing that. Okay, okay. Nuts would buy again. Mm -hmm. These little potato guys, they honestly taste like veggie straws and if you like having veggie straws in your house, then 100% buy again. Buy they're, again. they're great to just like mindlessly snack on. Maple butter, buy again. I will buy this again. It's not super mapley flavored, but like, I love a kettle corn. It's a, it's pretty light flavor. Like it's mm -hmm. not super sugary, like caramel. Which I really, really like, cause it doesn't like make you feel sick. We have two more chips. Oh, okay. Next we have pumpkin tortilla chips, crafted with simple ingredients, including pumpkin puree, pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and nut. And. Oh my God, they're shaped like fall leaves. Fall leaf corn tortilla chip. Look how pretty. Sorry, I got a little hot of myself. And then the pumpkin tortilla chip. Mmm. And then this is the fall harvest salsa on a, oh my God, I always have such a hard time through it. On autumnal autumn. <laughs> How do you say the plural? Autumnal. Yeah. <laughs> Melanage. Melange. Melange. Of fruits and veggies, including pumpkin, apples, and butternut squash. Okay, one, two, three. Whoa. They figured something out. And the I don't apples, the apple flavor. That's what it yep. is. Like that apple pie, like 
nutmeg. Um, this is phenomenal. Would you buy it again? I'm gonna go tomorrow and buy 12 of those. So good. And I don't even, like I'm not a huge salsa person. Sometimes if the salsa is too chunky, I'm like, ew, get that shit out of my face. This is like a chunky ass salsa and I love it. These are pumpkin cranberry crisp, a crispy, savory, and sweet cracker to complement cheeses, dips, and spreads. Do we have anything else? I'm gonna go pretty light on the cottage okay. cheese at first. Okay, great. Whoa, okay. Mm. I don't mind this. These are pretty good. What do we? These would be phenomenal with proper cubed cheeses. Yes. If we were properly equipped, these would be phenomenal. Or with like a like Jam. ham and cheese ball dip yeah. thing. But I'd give it an 8 out of 10. I'd give them a 5 out of 10. Okay. Just, you know, I think there's a lot of other things we've already tried that I would buy before these. These are, these are like, these stream like holiday party. Yeah, so they're for something. This entire, there are so many things. These are all like specific, <laughs> like. I, I know, but. <laughs> he's a hater. No, but I'll give it a six. Okay. This pumpkin walks into a bar, cereal bars. This is giving me like those really gross Fig Newton bars we used Need to have to when we would grow up and we would go to aftercare and they'd be like, it's snack time. And they would be the freaking Fig Newton things. So, um, hot take, I love those. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you nervous laughing? <laughs> Shall we split one? I would like three to myself. Packaging is okay. Can we, uh, Lady and the Champ it? Tramp? Tramp. <laughs> the Champ. <laughs> Everything's like number one. Funny story. Newsflash. <laughs> I'm taking a selfie with Mitch, or I want to, so I'm holding the phone up, and he's like in the back like this, not saying anything, and I think that he's saying like, you're number one, like in the picture. <laughs> but so really, she's just taking a bunch of pictures? And really, he's like choking on something, and like trying to swallow, and in the back he's like telling me like, one second, one second, but because we were shooting something really special, I thought in my head he was saying like, Marissa's is number one, <laughs> and it was so funny. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, it was okay. It just tastes like a bunch of processed sugar. Like you, it, like it's not bad. If you like a Fig Newton, you'll love this. Well, a cup of coffee? Would not buy again, but I know a lot of kiddos who are really gross, like Mitch, who loves cereal type bars like this would. Would buy again. Okay, next. Pumpkin spice teeny tiny pretzels. Oh, I love a freaking yogurt covered pretzel. Marissa has been cracked for pretzels the last week. I don't know why. Oh, cause we had Bond's protein pretzels at Lyft. Mm-hmm. My fir first qualm is that fact that these pretzels are so tiny. Can we get these made in normal sizes? Cheers. Hmm. Yep. Yep. And you know what? Not down. Oh my god. The aftertaste. Yogurt covered. <clears throat> Anything. Mm hmm. Really hard to beat. Yogurt flavored coating and crushed pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds. Like, mm. did we think it was going to be bad? Like, no way in hell was that ever going to be bad. Yeah, like I said, there's like 20 pieces in there. That's such a scam. There will be zero by the end. Because I will, like, mm -hmm. any normal person would eat that in one sitting. Okay, one more. Okay. You got one more? No. Mm. I have to avoid a stomach ache like last time. Buy again. We'll buy again. We'll go to the store tomorrow and buy those again. Okay. Are these, like, pumpkin covered Oreos? Pumpkin spice JoJo's, pumpkin flavored with other natural flavors, sandwich cookies, and a yogurt flavored coating with seeds. The second I read yogurt, <laughs> oh my, it's These are over. gonna be really good. I'm just like fighting the urge to read this entire description to you. Just so. do it. Don't do that. That's <laughs> way too long. That's way really too long. Should we I'm lady in the trampet? Okay. 
Oh, this is good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are very good. Could they be better? No, it's the it's the spiced aspect yeah, that is. really just like makes that so good. And that's I feel like that's that's a recurring theme we're having today. They're really when they say spiced, they mean it. Okay, so these are the non-coated in yogurt version. The pumpkin flavored JoJo's pumpkin flavored sandwich cream cookies with other natural flavors. Yeah. So we already know this is gonna be delicious. Would buy again. It's the spice. But I would buy the other JoJo's first. Like if I could only choose one, it would be the other one, I think. I would pick these. I like the, there's more crunch here on these. Okay. Oh, I already know these are delicious. These, these are, are favorite. pumpkin spice cookie shortbread cookies with pumpkin spice and yogurt coating. These are Halloween JoJo's cookies, chocolate pumpkin faced cookies with our signature vanilla bean cream. Okay, so they're exactly what we have, but not pumpkin flavored. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I haven't had these in so long. Mm-hmm. It's the yogurt coating every time. It's the yogurt. Oh my God. These will make your teeth rot out. Mm-hmm. Because you'll, you'll have one box and then you'll have 15 more. So, okay. okay. So these, like I said, are basically what we just had, but they have Halloween faces on them. It looks like an Oreo to me. That's what JoJo's are. Oh. It's Trader Joe's version of an Oreo. Okay. Do you see it? Oh, focus. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. There's a pumpkin face on it. Mm. Really good. Just doesn't have the kick that the other ones do. Yeah, I would buy the other JoJo's first and then I'd probably just get regular Oreos if we're being honest. The chocolate flavor is a little bit different. I can't put my finger on it. I would buy these if, I mean, if I like, were to be under the influence one night and these were in the pantry, I would, the, the box would be gone. So they are very good, but like. Under the influence. <laughs> but like, sober? No, I, I I'd probably eat these. Well, like you said, like I'd get orange. Yeah, mm, they're not bad though. Sorry. They're not bad. Person. Like, I don't want you guys thinking those are bad because they're delicious. Moving on, we, we just need to move on. <laughs> Pumpkin O's. So, uh, So they're not even shaped like pumpkins. They're just O's. Huge question. Huge question. Do we pour the cereal first or do we pour the milk first? What do you do? I like to pour the cereal first so the milk covers everything and, and gets it damp. Cause if you pour the milk first, you have to like push the cereal down with your spoon mm -hmm. to make sure it all gets touched. And that's just like psychotic behavior. Oh, and you Hmm. Who's the cereal mascot that's like a, a cinnamon stick and rides a skateboard and is like Rastafarian? That's what these remind me of. These aren't bad. I feel like the pumpkin wizard was like, was like slacking. Mm hmm A little bit. Mm. Like you, you, if you blind taste test me and gave me these, and Honey Nut Cheerios. I would think these were just like off-brand Honey Nut Cheerio. It's satisfying. Mm-hmm. Like it's good, but it, this is not a product you go to Trader Joe's. To get. Yeah, like. Like you don't go to Trader Joe's thinking, mm, I'm gonna get the pump nose. I've tried it. I know how I feel about it, and I will not be buying this again. Okay, so we did open these already because I gave some to my mom because my mom loves a biscotti. I must gotta hate to see her coming, mm. but we did not try them. My, my mom and I were getting our nails done and she tried it while we were getting our nails done and she was like, it's so good. So, ooh, should I dip it in milk? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay yup. And I'll be having the rest of that. Wait, whoa. With your coffee? I'll be the first to say that that's good. Not too sweet. The perfect amount of like savory and sweet. I love, I love those. Those are very good. We'll be buying again. 
We're almost done. Are we done? Cool. Yeah, they're just marshmallows. Yeah. Did you know that it's marshmallow, not marshmallow? <laughs> Mini maple flavored marshmallows. What? Oh, those smell good. Ooh, should I put this in my creamy? <gasps> These smell we like- We should put those in one of the cookie mixes. All right, that one tastes like anything. Mm. They taste like maple flavored marshmallows. They do, but like, I guess- Mallows. I, I just don't really love, I, I like marshmallows, but I like them. Like Mitch's mom could eat a bag of marshmallows and just like bite on them, but I have to either like, roast them over a fire, have them in a hot cocoa, or like in a cookie or something. These are really good. So, I see he takes after his mom where he just likes to eat them. Oh, those are going in the, in the We cookies. will be making cookies, snickerdoodle cookies. Oh my God. And we're making pancakes. <gasps> chocolate collection. This is cute, I don't want to eat these. White milk and dark chocolate confections in assorted fall shapes. Read it and weep. She made a good point. These would be like really good to bring to like holiday gatherings, like Thanksgiving. You're joking. Look at this little pumpkin. Okay, but also look at this little apple. Oh my God. Wait, 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 and look at this little acorn. Are you serious right now? Hold on, let me just show you all of them. Do you see those? They're so cute. There's a gourd and there's a baby corn. Okay, which one do we want? Stop. Mm. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, look at the inside. Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. These are very cute. What next? Very demure. Wait, the baked goods. Dun, dun, dun. No, let's let's get the cookies in the oven, yeah? Yeah. Okay, and let's we're gonna get, get the soup going. Okay. Okay, so this is what Mitch is making right now. It asked for an entire stick of butter, but we thought, you know what, maybe we'll do half stick. A full stick feels a little bit overkill. Um, so these are the pumpkin spice snickerdoodle cookie mix. And then we're gonna put the marshmallows in here. I'm very excited. I'm literally sitting here trying to enjoy my oats with chia seeds and Mitch has the audacity to ask me to get a baking sheet out with parchment paper. Crazy work. You're the most dramatic human I've ever met. <laughs> He's lucky I'm not hangry. I have to set you down, men these days. Men used to go to war. Chill out. <laughs> Men used to go to war and fight fights with bayonets and, and now they need baking sheets with parchment paper. <laughs> so we're going to now take this, mix it in this little spicy sugar mix. Spicy. And then put these guys in there. Said parchment paper. All right, show them how it's done, babe. Okay, so here's the deal. Marissa wanted only half a stick of butter, not a whole stick. So the, One full stick so just seemed insane. I think the consistency of this and the stickiness of this would be different. So I'm just trying to get it into a bowl, sort of. These just may not look like the ones that you make if you use a full stick of butter. That's all I'm getting at. What was that? Okay, this is a nice little ball, actually. Okay, putting said marshmallow in there. Cute. Okay, fun. I have a feeling like I have a purpose. They're ready to go in. Do you want to do the honors? Yes. I'll video you. How long? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. Bake time. Bake time, do 12 minutes. 12 minutes. Haha. <laughs> She's in. So Marissa's working to get some other videos up to you guys, which means I am on cooking duty. I am, should be stirring frequently the soup, autumn harvest soup. I've got- Why are you bringing some? Uh, dude, I'm, I swear I'm still out of breath from my run. I've got water boiling for, where is it? Our fall zucchini pasta. Autumnal, there's that word again. Autumnal. Harvest soup. 
a creamy tomato based soup with pumpkin and butternut squash. Okay, cookies are done. They We made them a lot larger than you're supposed to, um, which I think is fine. Okay, those look B roll. A little bit of a Joshua Weissman reference, and I don't know if you'll get that. Um, those look so good! They look very good. Wow, they're the size of the moon, bro. So, quarter pancake in. I followed the instructions to the tea, and the batter is just a little runnier than I would expect it to be. But I think we should try a couple of things Are while those cook. We have Crazy some. Here. Here's the buzzword of the day: autumnal. Autumnal. Autumnal harvest soup: a creamy tomato-based soup with pumpkin and butternut squash. So we have our autumnal soup. Da, 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 da. And but wait, there's more. These cute, they're so cute. Fall zucchetti pasta, butternut squash. Look at this. They're little pumpkins. How cute is that? Oh, I they love it. They shape pretty well. I love their pumpkin shape. No, because they really did. Look at that. So freaking cute. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm gonna try them separately and then eat them together. Easy. Yep. Okay, it might be really hot. Like really hot. Uh-uh. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. I like that. It's giving autumnal. Zucchetti. Zucchetti. Mmm. Al dente. That's how I like them. Ooh, the two together. I love that. What? Well, this is the buy again. Mm-hmm. Mmm. So I thought... I thought these were pancake mix. I thought this was a pancake mix, but maple pancake flavored with other natural flavors snaps. Pancake inspired butter cookies with maple syrup, molasses, and cinnamon. I'm thinking I was supposed to read it as maple pancake snaps flavored with other natural flavors. Yeah, 100%. I enjoy that a lot. It That's might be my good. favorite item. It's not, there's not too much happening, you know? Mm -hmm. so a lot good. of the other things, although delicious, there was just like yogurt, sprinkles, crushed pumpkin seeds. This, straight to the point, simple. We'll buy again tomorrow. Mm. Oh, wait, your pumpkin spice cold brew. So, Bear Bell's my favorite protein bar. First, I love when the barrels have the little like crunchers on them. Not just one. Cheers. Wait, I've had this before. I've been eating these all week. I don't know why I was acting like I was taste testing it. This is phenomenal. The chocolate mm -hmm. flavor with the pumpkin is what makes it really good. And again, the spice. Um, we're about to see. Hi, chicken. Okay, next we're having the pumpkin and spice snickerdoodle cookie mix, and I did put a few marshmallows in this one. The maple marshmallows. And then we have the pumpkin pancake, what pancake, where's the pancake box? So the pancake box. We have gluten-free. You heard it, gluten-free. Not that I'm gluten-free, but I feel like sometimes gluten-free stuff tastes really good. Okay, gluten-free pumpkin pancake mix. You can have your pan, cake and eat it too, period. All right. So let's start with... I think we try the pancake on its own first, and then we try a bite with each of these things. How they gradually get larger. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. That's very good. Butter me up a little piece. Mm. I don't like that. If you like pumpkin, like puree, like you will love this, but I am not a fan of like pumpkin. That maple butter is so good, one, two, it's organic, but three, it's almost so sweet that like, I like that little bite I had on my pancake was like enough to satisfy me. That's good. I like that a lot. 110%. I was nervous that this container was so tiny it would not. I'm like, why is the container so small? But a little goes a long way. 
All right, ready to try I, our cookie? I like, I like that maple butter stuff a lot. And honestly, these pancakes are very good. And they'd be tremendous with like extra mini tiny chocolate chips, a little bit in them. I like that. And I'm, I'm shocked because I'm picturing there being an entire stick of butter in there. But they're already really, really, really good. These are very good. All right, I think the reason why we're both struggling right now is because even though all this stuff is so delicious, it's all like candy junk food. Versus like the last time we did a Trader Joe's haul, it was like a lot of savory stuff like chicken, rice, non bread, whatever else there was. Obviously we still had candies and goodies with it, but first up for like the baked goods, we are trying the pumpkin blondie brownie. It's I'm excited for this one. with white chocolate chips and pecans. That's my biggest thing, like what is it? It has the, the features of a cookie, but it has the texture of a brownie with pumpkin, with no. like a cheesecake frosting on top. I like it. I like it a lot. I think if I heated it up, I would love mm. it. Ooh, or with a scoop of ice cream. <laughs> That's very good. I like that. I like the saltiness. Okay, next, pumpkin loaf. I'm so full. So pumpkin, pumpkin loaf with a delightful spiced sugar topping. Okay, that does da, look da, very da. good. Chat. Chat. <clears throat> My favorite part of any baked good is the corner where it's nice and crisp. Cheers. It's more pumpkin. Yep. <laughs> That's good. That's good as frick though. I would eat that over the last thing. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm just gonna have one more bite just to make sure it is really good. So Marissa really likes this one because that was a massive bite. <laughs> that was a massive bite. Mm -hmm. I will be eating this with ice cream later. It's good because it's not too sweet. The pumpkin spice mini sheet cake. Moist, flavorful pumpkin spice cake with cream cheese frosting. Is this the one we special ordered? Mm-hmm. So basically what happened was we were checking out and of course the lady checking us out was like, oh, you're getting everything pumpkin. This is quite literally my love language. And she's like, wait, did you get the sheet cake? And we're like, no, we didn't see a sheet cake. She goes, oh. Let me put you on a wait list because it sells out so quickly in the morning. So she put us on a wait list. Cause it's baked fresh. Yeah, baked fresh. And I got a call the next day that said, come pick up your sheet cake. But again, we froze this cause I bought this a week and a half ago. And I- So it was frozen the day it was made. Okay. I'm excited for this one. Mm. The frosting makes it. They should have an option where you can just get just the frosting. I'm speechless. This is a good one to bring Whoa. to like an event. Pop it out of this. Holy shit. Throw it onto a little serving plate, chop it up, and people would think you were like the bee's knees. That's really good. Wow. Trader Joe's gluten-free pumpkin streusel muffins made with pumpkin puree, pumpkin spice bits, and a spiced streusel. Right? Mm. All of these. I wish I had a hot cup of coffee. A little grainy. This is really good, but the strawberry gluten-free muffins are better. Mm -hmm. And the blueberry. No shade. These are delicious, but I'm not mad that they're seasonal. Those are very good. Pumpkin cheesecake! <laughs> <laughs> Keep frozen. Oh shit, we've been letting this thaw. Okay, this is a chore. Uh oh. Automatic oh. deduction of five points. How many aura points did Trader Joe's just lose? Cheers. He <laughs> <laughs> just cracking myself up. You good? Yeah, make it frosting for you. It's good. Yeah, it tastes fine. <laughs> I think it's just the texture and the presentation. And it's the fact that we've eaten every other pumpkin flavored item that Trader Joe's carries leading up to this. <laughs> okay, so this is the Trader Joe's pumpkin ice cream super premium. Super, 
I didn't see a regular one, oh, <laughs> so they only shit. carry the super premium. Do you simultaneously crave pumpkin pie filling and ice cream? Then this ice cream will be a definite aha moment for you. <laughs> ice cream so full of pumpkin flavor. Aha! <laughs> cream ice cream so full of pumpkin flavor and just enough spice to tease you into thinking you are eating very cold, very creamy, very delicious pumpkin pie filling. If that's not enough pumpkin, scoop some on top of an actual slice of pumpkin pie. Oh. <laughs> Milk from cows not treated with R B S T. This is like weirdly soft, but it's been in the freezer. Huh, is that freezer broken? Mm, honestly, I'm questioning its authenticity. Mmm, oh shit. Okay, that's good. Uh, Ooh, mm. that's really good. That's really, really good. Um, yeah, so this is freaking phenomenal. This is fire. Mmm, top three items from today for sure. Mmm. This is, this is really good ice cream. Like, flavor aside, if it were any flavor, like, whatever, the consistency, the texture, mm -hmm. and everything. It's so milky and creamy. Mm -hmm. I'll bring us on home on this last one. This is Trader... Thank you. Th you're welcome. <laughs> this is Trader Joe's Pumpkin Spice Flavored Cold Brew Coffee Concentrate. Cinnamon, ginger, clover, nutmeg, and orange peel. I can be sleeping tonight. You know what would be good? What's that? Ice cream in this. I like that a lot. It's definitely a concentrate, so don't go thinking you're gonna pour 16 ounces of that and add like a little creamer. Oh. Yeah. Don't go thinking you're gonna do that and not end up in the hospital. <laughs> okay, you guys, we've finished everything. Is there anything I missed? Our kitchen is in shit. Let me show you our kitchen really quick. Like. I still have to eat my meal prep. Look at it. Um, Okay, I guess it's not that much shambles, but like, it, 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 it's looked better. So yeah, that's it from us. We are both very, very full. I would say we much prefer the normal Trader Joe's food just because it was like actual food versus like desserts. But the pumpkin stuff is so freaking good. Like, it's very good. What's your, what was your favorite thing and what was your least favorite thing? Favorite thing would probably have to be the pumpkin ice cream or the yogurt covered Jojo's. What about you? What was your least favorite? My least favorite item was probably... Oh, the pumpkin butter. Yeah. What about the pumpkin oils? You don't like those. Oh, either. the pumpkin oils are a waste of freaking money. Sorry, Trader Joe's. They weren't bad, but I was just like... Give us something more. Yeah, like, uh, give me anything but those pumpkin oils. So, my favorite... Oh, oh I thought they were good. these. Those I don't good. know if you can see that. The maple, maple pancake. pancake snaps. My least favorite was the cheesecake and, oh. and the pumpkin butter. Wow, we didn't like a lot of stuff this time. It, it was all very rich. Yes, I think, okay. Take everything we say with a grain of salt because after two hours of eating sugary pumpkin items, I think anyone would be tired. Just remember, like, we love pumpkin and I'm sure if we ate all these foods in a different order, we would be tired, like the desserts and the cakes that we ate, we probably would have been a little bit more excited about if we ate them first and weren't all sugared out, you know? Mm -hmm. But this was like super, super fun. I feel like at least once a month we need to do like a Trader Joe's or like some type of food haul. Maybe we'll do a, a true mukbang <laughs> or the 10,000 calorie challenge. Yeah, we do need to do that. I have to mentally prepare. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Say bye, Pookie. <laughs> so cute.